Hi everybody, so today I'm going to do a review of the CSB Ancient Faith Study Bible. This one is in the Crimson Leather Touch Overboard. They did a really nice job on the packaging with the artwork and the sepia tones. So they did make it look old school with the design of that, so I think they did a great job on their packaging. I'm going to hold this right there in case you would like to pause it. it talks about how Christianity's roots run deep. And then in the second paragraph, tells us that the notes and commentary are from the writings of the church fathers of the second through sixth centuries. So that is pretty neat. Then we're going to check out the features. So we'll have study notes from the early church, exclusive feature articles, profiles of early church fathers, twisted truth callouts, an author index to easily find commentary from individual church fathers, the apostles and Nicene creeds, a presentation page, book introductions, concordance, two-column text, 10.25 point font size, eight point font for our study notes, black letter, sewn binding, ribbon markers, and full color maps. That bottom section in white is just a little bit about the translation. Here is the ISBN number. This one does retail for $79.99. You can definitely find it for less online, and as always, there will be a link in the description box. This one here measures out at nine and a half inches tall by seven and a quarter inches wide, and it is two inches thick. So we've got black head and tail bands. We've got black and red ribbons. So those ribbon colors look nice with this cover design on there. We've got our gold gilding. We've got thumb indexing. And I like the way that Holman uses the black on the Old Testament, the red on the new. And then that also ties in nicely with the red and black ribbons. So we've got the crimson leather touch overboard. We can see that this outer edge is a different color on there to kind of make it look old. So I think they did a really nice job on that. The color is really pretty. The design around that perimeter, I think they did a really nice job on that. So really a nice looking Bible. On the spine, we've got CSB with their True North logo, Holy Bible, Christian Standard Bible and Holman. And then we've just got these decorative lines on there, which we'll also see those on the inside of the Bible. The back is going to look the same as the front, but I think they did a nice job in making this kind of look antique. If you've seen that sitting on a shelf or coffee table, it would make you want to pick it up. Got a paper paste down liner. The design in it also kind of gives it that old look to it. So they did a really good job on the design of this one. We've got a presentation page with that same design around the perimeter that we've seen on the cover. We'll get into our title pages. This is available in a few other cover options and also non-index. So there's the different ISBN numbers. We're going to have the books of the Bible, all the additional materials. We're going to have all of our features, so we've got a list of all the articles. There's going to be 25 of them. We've got 25 biographies. We're going to have Twisted Truth articles, which are pretty short. And then also Confessions quotes, which are also short. So we'll have 15 of the Twisted Truth, 25 of the Confessions quotes. We've got our contributors, all the acknowledgments, the compiler's note. We've got an introduction to the CSB. We've got all the abbreviations, and then we've got reading the Bible with the Church Father. So this is an article by Trevin Wax. We've also got Christology of the Ecumenical Councils, as well as participation in the Trinity. And then we get into the Old Testament. Again, they did that same design that we've seen on the cover. Each book is going to have a full page of an introduction, so it'll have the contribution to the Bible, the circumstances of the writing, and the structure. And then we're going to get right into the Old Testament. So we're going to have a double column format in the top with our biblical text. The lines that separate it are going to be those same lines that we've seen on the spine of the Bible. All of our notes, they're going to be in a three column format. One thing that I really like that they did in this one is their use of red. So we've got the books in red, all of our page numbers, all of our verse numbers are in red. We've also got the drop caps, so that looks really nice there. 
So this is going to be a 10.25 font on the biblical text. And then down here in our notes is going to be an 8 point. Then you can see that little design that we've seen on the spine of the Bible. So just on this first section of Genesis here, we've got 10 different sets of the study notes here by six different people. So pretty good variety. We've got Basil the Great, Ephraim the Syrian, Cyril of Jerusalem, Augustine, Origen, Gregory of Nyssa. So it's pretty neat that it's got all of the old notes. And again, it's going to be from church fathers from the second through the sixth centuries. So well, here's one of our articles. We're going to get in here and we see our first of our two ribbons. It is a double satin. It's nice that they do have two of them in here. And then we can also see the stitching in the gutter there. So evidence of our sewn binding. But the way that they use the red in here, I think is really easy on the eyes to see because it makes it really easy to be able to see the the verse numbers on there and then also with the red down at the bottom. I really like the color options that they chose on this one. So here is one of our articles. So we've got the Son of God as the second Adam. Here are some examples of one of the confessions. So this one happens to be pretty small. A lot of them are fairly small, not real big. And then here's a twisted truth. So they're not too big to where if you were reading the biblical text and you pause to read these, it's not going to distract your reading. We've got Christ fulfills the seed of Abraham. So another nice article there. Again, they use the, the drop caps. We've got that same line design that we've seen on the spine. The paper in this kind of reminds me of the paper that you see in the Journal of the Word Bibles. Kind of has that uh, almost like a yellowish tint to it. But in low light situations, it is very easy to read this Bible. And I think it's fascinating to read the notes in this one and have such a variety of people that wrote them. So we've got a biography on Gregory the Great. So here we've got the psalm, so you can see how the poetic books look. And then we've also got two more of those confessions. So you can see that they're not real big, so not distracting at all when you're reading. We're going to get into the back here to the New Testament. We've got our second ribbon, again a double satin. I like that they chose the red and black. We've got the same design as on the cover. Then we've got a Twisted Truth here, so not real big. That one's on modalism. And then on here, if you're not familiar with the CSB, when you see the text that is in bold, that is going to be when they're quoting the Old Testament in the New. So that's what they're meaning on there. The HCSB also had the same thing. So I do like the way that they do that. We've got another article on the fold divinity of Christ, an article on original sin, and so you can see that they're not real long, so that's not very long at all. We've got another biography, so we're going to have 25 biographies, 25 articles. This one's a biography on origin. We've got an article on the canon of scripture. And we get back to the end of Revelation. So you do have some space here for notes if you wanted to take some notes in it. We're going to have the Apostles' Creed, which if you're not familiar with that, I'll get that closer in case you would like to pause it and read it. You don't see that in a lot of Bibles anymore, so it is kind of neat. We're also going to have the Nicene Creed. We've got some suggested reading. And then we get into the biographical index. Then we've got our concordance. So the concordance is going to be a three column format. Again, they've used that same shade of red 
which is a very nice shade of red, nice and deep. This is the type of red that people want in a red letter Bible, because it is a true red, true deep red. So on our concordance, it's going to be 107 pages, so nice size concordance. We're going to have four pages for notes, eight if you count front and back. It is double column, so it is split down the center there, and it does have the little dotted lines, so your notes can stay straight. Then we're going to get back into the maps. We're going to have eight full color maps. They are on a matte finish cardstock, so you're not going to get any glare. And if you like to take some notes on your maps, you don't have to worry so much about the ink smearing. We've got some more stitching in there. So really nice sewn binding. And then we just get right back to the end of the Bible. But a really unique Bible, so if you're looking for something that's kind of different, this might be something that you might like, especially with having the notes from the early church fathers. It's pretty interesting to read. So again, this is the Ancient Faith Study Bible in the CSB. There is the ISBN number. Retails for $79.99, but you can always find it for less online, and there will be a link in the description box. And again, there's multiple cover options, but pretty neat Bible, so I definitely enjoy reading from this one. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.